सो हे गाइज वेलकम टू द चैनल कोड शेफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड गेट गुड होल्ड ऑन डी एस ए दिस इज द वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू हेयर वी ब्रिंग वीडियो एडिटोरियल्स फॉर ईच ऑफ द कोड शेफ कॉन्टेस्ट एज वेल एज वेरियस कॉन्टेंट विच विल इन्हेंस योर स्किल्स ऑन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरथम सो इफ यू नो टू द चैनल दैन डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड ऑन द बेल नोटिफिकेशन सो माई सेल्स राय जैन एम द कोड शेफ एजुकेटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट डाइक्स्ट्राज एलगोरथम in the series of shortest path algorithms okay guys so now let us begin our understanding on the dijkstra's algorithm right so this algorithm we use there are various variants of this algorithm but the major one is to find the shortest path from the source to vertex right so we select one source and we select one destination and we need to find what is the shortest path between that source and the destination so let us take this example this is a graph right and this is a weighted graph and let us assume that we are taking the source as this node and to each and other node except this node we need to find that what is the minimum distance or what is the minimum weight that we can have to reach from this particular node to any other node right so if you want to know that from this node zero if you want to go to one then what is the minimum distance required or minimum weight required right if we want to go from this 0 to 3 what is the minimum weight required right similarly from 0 to 2 as well so this algorithm helps us to find that so if we see that if we go from 0 to 1 what options do we have we can go from 0 to 1 directly also right using this particular edge with the weight 2 right so the options are we can go with the weight 2 right we can go via this as well 0 to 3 3 to 1 right so what is the weight required that is 12 right we can go to like this also 0 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 1 right so what is the weight required that is 6 plus 4 plus 3 that is 13 right so there are many possible ways right 0 0 to 2 2 to 1 right this is also one way so there are many possible ways to go from uh this source vertex to this destination vertex right so but we need to find that what is the minimum weighted path right so only this edge consider then this edge only we can go with the minimum weight that is 2 so th this will be the answer so what will be the minimum weight or minimum distance that we can travel from this source and if we are taking this as the destination is 2 right the answer is 2 so if we are taking 0 to 3 right 0 to 3 so one possible way right one direct edge is 9 but is this the minimum possible weight no right we can go from 0 to 1 and 1 to 3 as well so what will be the weight in that case 2 plus 3 right because this is 1 and this is 1 right so 2 plus 3 that will be equal to 5 right so this is another way right and there are many possible ways right 0 to 2 2 to 3 right this is also one way what is the weight in that case that is 4 plus 6 10 so what is the minimum weight that we have that is 5 right considering this now also if we go from 0 to 2 right so what is the minimum possible weight that we have that is 4 right direct one edge rest all other cases will get more weight right so if we see if we look at this configuration if we travel in such way then we can reach the other node right from the starting source node in the minimum possible weight right so that is what we need to find in the dijkstra's algorithm this is typically the basic of dij uh, basics of dijkstra's algorithm what we need to find out right so this is the shortest path algorithm in which from the source to vertex we need to find the minimum weight or the minimum distance which we can cover from the two nodes right so this is about the basics of dijkstra algorithm now let us understand how we can develop the logic of this dijkstra's algorithm okay guys so now let us try to understand the logic of the dijkstra's algorithm right so here we consider three parameters one is the nodes that we are taking one is the distance of the nodes and the other one is whether the given node is visited or not right so in total how many nodes do we have that is we have four nodes 0 1 2 3 numbering are like that only right starting from 0 so let us assume that this is the source vertex that we are considering right so initially we will take the distance of the source vertex as zero because with respect to this vertex we are considering the distance of each and every vertex right so we will take the reference of this vertex the distance of this vertex is zero distance is nothing but the weight that we are taking for the consideration of the remaining vertex as well right and for the remaining vertices right what we take the distance as infinity right so for the remaining vertex we'll take the distance as infinity okay 
so now what we try to do is we try to explore each and every vertex and get what is the minimum distance that we can reach from this vertex to the neighboring vertex right so if we take this vertex zero right this is the source vertex so rest other all the vertices have the distance as infinity as of now on them right so if we go from zero to this vertex what will be the weight associated what will be the distance right so that is the weight on this vertex that is zero on the zero zeroth vertex plus the distance that we covered in the edge right that is two so zero plus two is two right so to reach from zero to two to one what is the distance that we are covering that is two right and on one what distance do we have right if it is if the distance that we are covering is less than the distance that we already have on one that means we will modify it because we have found one way which will cost us less right so as of now we have infinity right so what we will do we'll update it we'll update this as two we'll update this as two so here also we'll mark it as two this is one neighboring vertex what is the case in other one other one also have the weight infinity and if we take this edge right because this is the neighboring vertex of zero as well so what will be the updation that will we'll update this infinity with nine because the weight is nine so this also sorry this is not two this is three we'll also update it as nine and for two also we have a single edge that cost us four right so we'll update that as well so that cost us four so likewise we'll update because the weight on this plus the weight of the edge that we have that will sum up and we'll update it if it is less than the weight that we have already present right that is already present over the vertex now we have explored this zero right we have explored all the neighbors of it zero so what we will do we'll mark this as visited this is visited now right we'll will not touch this vertex now this is already visited now now what we will do out of the remaining vertices that we have this is done this is done right so what is the remaining vertices that we have that is one two and three we'll take the minimum one with the minimum weight right how we'll select the minimum one whose weight is minimum so whose weight is minimum that is this one the node with the vertex the uh, vertex one with the weight two right so this is the minimum one so now what we will do we'll explore all the neighbors of it so first of all we'll explore zero zero is already visited right so we'll not consider it then we'll see the neighbor of one that is two right that is two and if we go from one to two what is the weight associated that is eight right and we have weight on two as four so that is better right we can we'll not update it why because already four is less than eight so why should we go for a thing that is that will cost us more or the distance is more right so four is already better so we'll not update it right now we'll consider the vertex that is one to three right so what is the weight associated between one to uh, one and three that is three and what is the weight that we have as of now that is nine right so let us examine right so what is the weight on one the weight on one is two and from this to reach three what will be the weight that is three so the total weight is five the total weight is five right and uh, the weight that is present as of now is nine right so we'll update this we'll update this so what what will be the weight on three now that is five why because it will be easy from one to reach at this particular position right so that is five so we'll update this right and any other neighbor we have explored two we have explored zero two we have not considered it why because eight is already bigger than four and even more like if you want to go from one also this additional two would have cost us more so that will be sum up to ten even eight is already costing us more and if we add two also it will cost us ten so right ten is way bigger than six right so we'll not consider it and this we have already considered right so that is updated to five now any other remaining vertex for one no right so we'll mark this as visited right now what we will see we'll see for two right we'll see for two so why because the minimum weight between these two is still four so we'll consider this particular vertex so for this four right uh this node two the weight associated with this uh, uh, two is four right so if we want to go from two to three because this is all uh, uh this is only the node which is unexplored as of now both zero and one are totally explored right so if we go from this node to this node three right so what is the weight associated with this that is weight on two that is four plus this weight that is six which sums up to ten right and the weight on three is already five 
which is better than 10 so we'll not update it right we'll not update it so this marks it as visited because 0 and 1 both are already visited so we'll not consider the edges and 2 and 3 we'll have, we have seen but we'll not update it why because it has already a better option right so this is also visited for 3 there is no option left because 0 1 and 2 are already visited so there is no option left for 3 hence we'll mark it as visited and we got that what are the best options that we have to reach from this source to any other source right so from 0 we have to reach to 1 right we have a weight of 2 from 0 to reach to 2 we have a weight of 4 right we got it from 0 to 3 we have a weight of 5 not this word not this edge but from 0 to 1 and 1 to 3 we have a better option that is 5 right so you can see that this is the practical thing of Dijkstra's algorithm this is how we'll construct it this is what the basic theory is we'll provide some uh, uh, what we can say better approaches for this like we can how we'll code it because again and again we need to find the minimum node right we have some optimizations with related to that we'll see that in the coding part of the video but this is what the basic logic of Dijkstra's algorithm is and this is what you need to understand prior to the coding part of the Dijkstra's algorithm.